everybody, it's me, Sean, your car master, and welcome back to Production Line. Finally kind of got our profitability question figured out in that previous episode. We are trying to build two different models of car here in our current episode. I'm having, uh, having some trouble keeping the resources coming in. I was looking at the very end of the last episode. I mean, you can see right here, we have a steady stream of resources so it's not a matter of we just need to be able to import more stuff so I think I am actually going to connect up this these two lines here um, and I might just do it right across here like that and now we should be able to import some of the stuff for this area off of this line as well I hope Doesn't really seem to be doing that. But maybe it will in time. This thing is so behind on uh, on the importing. Uh, but it's all a question of the the speed of the conveyor. Doesn't seem to matter um, the speed of the importer. I bet you it's just importing everything from the closest import slot. That even that, you know, that it's not... Uh, it's not even considering importing from the other slot. So, uh, on the other hand, we are pushing cars through as fast as the dryers will take them, and you can see we're slowly getting a little bit of backlog down in these areas as well. Uh, but nothing, nothing that we really need to worry about. And look at that—we've almost cleared out our entire uh, backlog of vehicles. So um, that was kind of our uh, oh. Yeah, we can see right here is where where we're bottlenecking now. So it's great that we sped everything up getting down to here. But now we're going to have to figure out a way to uh, split off the painting somehow. Which isn't really that impossible. We can just put another paint thing right here and bring it in here. But then we'd have to figure out some way to, to split them to go. I guess we could... We have it come here and have this one go over and down like that. And then we would have to duplicate this one as well. So, uh, not really sure how I would manage to do that. What do, we, what do they got for new loan? $15,000 this time? Oh, okay. You're up to $70,000. Wow, very generous. Thank you so much. All right. Well, our sampler seems to be selling really well. I'm actually going to increase the price on that. And I'm going to increase the price on our Fallville. Because we're selling all of our cars. So we may as well try to make as much profit as we can. Especially if we're going to try to advertise them. Which is my goal. Once we get up to about like $700,000. I guess I'm going to want to try to run an ad campaign at that point. We are going to need to get some more science going as well uh, before too long because we are definitely going to be falling behind on the science front and that's not good. I guess we could like really crank up the uh, crank up the marketing on our luxury you know what I mean like start selling a luxury car but it's like why would why would anybody buy those? Especially since our mid-range car has all the features of the luxury car. I suppose changing around the features on existing cars like discontinuing models and changing the features to create new models, like that's how how you would do it. I would just take I'd take like the Fallville out of production and introduce the knife's edge, something along those lines. But we'll worry about that. Uh, ooh, down to less than two hundred thousand dollars. I, I kind of need to keep an eye on our uh, finances here, I guess. Let's, let's try to keep an eye on a car going through production here. Can we open up the the? I was hoping the um, I was hoping the little window would follow it like it does in uh, Rise of Industry, but I guess it's not going to do that. Boy, oh boy, guys, did I screw up that, uh, well, the start of this episode, but I really screwed up that last episode. Oh, uh, you know, no matter how many times I do that, I will never learn. That is a result of streaming. 
And when I stream, I have to stream at a lower resolution because just the speed of my internet connection. And I forget to change it back to the higher resolution. And it didn't record the entire screen, as I'm sure you noticed during the entirety of the last episode, because it was all, you couldn't see what the heck was going on over on this side. But I took a look, and I am not going to throw that episode away, although I hate, I really do not like putting out an episode that is not up to the high quality standards of my channel. I mean, I really don't like putting that out without being able to see it. But I'm gonna. So, uh, anyways, here we are, back to the normal episode. I'm so upset. I barely even remember what was going on. Oh my gosh, how annoying that is. I, I just, I really need to check that. When uh, I just need to check it. Oh. Anyways, let's not let's not dwell on that. Um, you guys all noticed that probably at the beginning of the last episode, I bet you I put in a little apology at the start of the last episode. Um, maybe not. You know what? I don't know if I'm going to do that, because why draw attention to it? You guys will figure it out. And if you don't notice it, you didn't even notice it. This is a game where that's not really so noticeable. It's not like important stuff is going on around the edges. Aside the part where you see how much money we have and all that stuff. But I feel like I kind of talked about that plenty. Saved you guys having to worry about us being short on power, didn't I? I know nobody likes it when we are running short on power. So I'm going to go ahead and throw in a few more power plants so you guys don't have to worry about that. Power is uh, expensive. There we go. We're getting close to our half million dollar goal. Or 600 something thousand dollar goal, I guess would be the real goal here. And you know what? If that means means we can increase the price of our cars because people are paying it. Like, we don't have any cars hanging out in our stock room. Why are we going to put money into uh, put money into marketing if, uh, if we're selling all of our cars, right? Am I right? I don't know how long marketing lasts and stuff. Uh, maybe marketing is something we would want to do when, um, when we have... Uh, Marketing is something we'd want to do when we have a bunch of cars left over, maybe? Or when we're producing more cars? So, you know what? I think instead of worrying about starting marketing, I'm going to start research back up. Even though we did go through a lot of effort to get marketing available. Um, Alright, high octane efficiency. Level of 50% production slot efficiency over a period of 10 hours. Sh sure. There we go. Hey, look at that. All of our money's gone again. What a surprise. All right. Let's, uh, so one thing I need to study here, which will help us, is to speed up those import. Um, oh, shit. We've already... Oh, I haven't researched that. Okay, we need to research those those conveyors. Because that's, that's what's slowing us down on our production line right now. So we're just not getting the items back here fast enough, I guess. So that means, yep, here we go. We have some insufficient resources. So we need to get those resources through a little faster. Uh, that'll help us squeeze a little more out. But again, now that I think of it, that's really not going to make much of a difference considering it's the uh, inability to paint our undercoat that is, uh, um, that, that's what's slowing us down at this point without doing some serious remodeling. Like trying to double up on paint finish. Although I guess we could... Like predictive stock control isn't going to do us any good. But high pressure paint nozzles will speed it up. As a matter of fact, since I figured out that is the uh, thing there, I might want to focus on that. High pressure paint nozzles. Got to be somewhere in here. There we go. Let's research that right now. So what do these do? 
fit front axle. That just unlocks the making of things, yeah. Okay, I don't need to worry about any of those things. Um, although that, okay, so axle specialization actually is one that we would benefit from. Steering specialization as well, and wheel specialization, yeah. But we definitely need more space before those really become options. So um, uh, we need to to make more money. But since we are not backing up any uh, any cars in our uh, thing, we may as well keep increasing the the profit margin on them try to keep increasing our profitability overall. I notice the competitors are not like they're not putting a lot of uh, pressure on us for um, how, where is it that I look at? Is it under components? No. No. Under here maybe? No. On the money? Okay. There we go. So and the mid-range cars, it's still pretty rare to have all these features that we're offering. Whereas uh, in the expensive cars, um, uh, these features are pretty standard. We need to research air conditioning. And power steering. And that's it. Okay, that's good. Air conditioning, power steering, the only things that we're really f falling behind on as far as features are concerned. So it does seem like the competition has kind of stopped focusing on those types of research, which, which I like to see. Looks like we're getting... Now, we still kind of have the three to one... Are we get are we getting close to the one to one? Um, Fallville versus uh, vanilla plain whatever thing. Seems like over here is kind of where the one to one would begin. Maybe not. It still seems like three to one through there. Maybe back up in here it's closer to one to one. It's going to take a little while to work through the production line. What uh, what is our available loan at this point? Just just in case, okay, two hundred thousand dollars. That's get, definitely gives us some breathing room. And plus, we have the opportunity to sell off our research department if it comes to that. Not really what I want to do, but um, you know, if we speed up our painting, it's still not really going to help us because now the drying is um, is causing a slowdown. Although part of that could just be the slowness of the painting down here as well. And really trying to get more cars through, it's all all a matter of trying to get more space. It's all a matter of trying to get more money. So it keeps uh keeps moving, you know what I mean? Like the goalposts keep moving on us. Very steady stream of imports not being brought in. Over on this side too now, huh? They really, uh, really need those goods. Even this one, slowly backing up, but not too badly. But fortunately, it doesn't seem like they're causing too many. Like I'm not seeing like exclamation points all over the place or anything. So, is there anything we can do that, like any missing upgrades on these bad boys? No. I know I've been saying that an awful lot. I don't know why I keep calling these bad boys. That's a kind of a dumb thing for me to be saying so much. Hopefully now that I've kind of mentioned it to myself, maybe I'll be a little more aware of it. That works occasionally. I suppose after doing the painting speed thing, we will want to speed up our drying as well, because that's 
uh, like those go hand in hand, you know. All right, increasing the prices might have increased them a little too much. So we are definitely piling up. Oh, although we are just piling up the uh, just piling up the sampler. Let's try rebranding it. Somebody recommended the vanilla cookie for that one. Now I've got a different pattern that I've got set up for our um, our other new models of cars, but I'll go with that vanilla cookie for the first model because uh, uh, Norwal. I can't remember the actual uh, the actual uh, name there. It was a, a manatee or a Norwal or something like that suggested it. Thank you so much. I'm sorry I don't remember your name. But, you know, I mean, it's YouTube. You guys have silly names. Uh, but thank you for that suggestion. Always, always happy to hear what people have to suggest. Lots of, so many nice people watching my videos. All sorts of nice things to say. Yes, upgrade all slots, please. Let's choose the next research project. Faster drying. Great. That'll help us get our cars through a little even more fast. And maybe ease up some of this backlog because the backlog has stretched almost all the way back as far as I can. Ah, look at that efficient layout. Average of 50 square meters per car hour. So that gives us a new color. I like it. Let's, uh, let's assign some of these new colors to some of our existing cars. You can have that charcoal black. I guess that's really the only new color we've unlocked. But I'll take it. That'll be exciting. See some nice black black cars coming off the out of the paint area. Let's take a look. See how they look as they come out over here. Um, no black ones yet. Soon though. Doesn't say what kind of paint they're bringing in. Oh, I don't need predictive stock control for that one. Thank you very much. Now, I thought we didn't have red. Oh, is that a different shade of red? No. I thought we didn't have red on the uh, Fallville. We don't. So why is it making red ones? You're not following my instructions very well, game. You're actually making that shade of blue also. You should not be doing... That should be for the vanilla cookie only. Huh. Uh, I don't think that's really going to help. But, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Listen. Listen to my, my instructions, game. I'm telling you what to do. Hey, look at that. We've increased our brand aware, or we've got enough money to where we could try to increase our brand awareness. Or I could try to increase our factory capacity uh, by um, um, researching that. So I know I know we invested all this money into marketing. Boost the general brand image, larger number of customers visiting, regardless of model. But it only lasts for 24 hours. So, I mean, I guess we could, but if we, are we going to be able to raise the price enough to really justify spending half a million dollars on that? I just don't think we are. So I think for now, we're just going to stockpile those marketing points. I'm going to boost our research back up to previous levels and um, we're going to get this paint going through but then next we're going to research the thing that will allow me to rent out this space and uh, then we really should be able to start pushing our production into high gear we'll move basically this whole this whole section of the line over into this area and um, actually I might move it from the very start over into that area because now we still only, I mean, we do have two export doors. So I could try to run, I don't know. I mean, I feel like we're getting all the exports out. We're going to run into a point where we can't get them all out. And then I would want to try to run them over here, but we could just remodel at that point too. Eventually, I think the 
best spot to be doing the exports would be over in this area. Uh, but that would just mean a very long line running around here. Unless we started... Is there anywhere else that has multiple export bays? Like right next to each other? Yeah, that's the main spot. Alright, let's upgrade our dry finish. That's going to cost us some money, but not too much. And uh, for our next research project, I know I was just talking about it. Um, oh yeah, be able to expand our offices. Um, factory expansion, there we go. Let's research that. And maybe we can do that in the very next episode. With any luck. Keep our fingers crossed. Because uh, we, uh, we'll need that. We're going to need the thing that's going to speed up our lines as well. So yeah, we're still not quite getting... We're not opening up any gap through here. And we're backing up, you know what I mean? Backing up to our fit wheel assembly thing. Holy mackerel! Good thing I didn't spend that half a million dollars. Wow. That is crazy. Now, how do I know the details? Do I need to give it a different name? I, th I could have swore I did archive that model. Let's try this. I mean, I, I guess it doesn't r really matter. Hmm. Probably a bad idea to set the uh, the new model with the same name as the old model. All right, let's see how that Fallville 2, two does. Okay, Ugh. loans are dropping back down. As our money drops back down, maybe I shouldn't have invested in the uh, shouldn't have invested in the additional research. Um, we are starting to stock up a little bit on cars. Game has been auto saved. I don't really need to mention that when that pops up, do I? I guess that explains why the car colors w hadn't changed. Ah, still learning. Now, why do we keep running out of power still? I don't want to generate. I mean, I think this is fine. If we have to buy a tiny little bit of power every once in a while. It's not that big a deal. Because if we're over-generating power, you know, we're producing more than we're using, right? I mean, that's like what over-generating means. All right, there's our factory expansion, which is not going to be as helpful as I thought it would. Um, research center would definitely allow us to research faster, right? I mean, that's pretty much what that's going to do, isn't it? Let's go ahead and get that out of the way just so we can research a little faster. Uh, but we are going to need, before we can expand, we're definitely going to need more cash. I don't really want to expand with only like $300,000 available to us. Um, it's going to dramatically increase our rent. I don't, like what is our rent expense right now? I mean, our biggest expense by far is components. No question about that. Um, rent. Seven thousand dollars. All right. So that's not really gonna. It's not gonna kill us to rent this space out, which is probably looks like it's about the same square footage, right? Probably another another seven thousand dollars an hour. Uh, but we're gonna have to remodel a lot of. We're gonna have to move all this over here, which is gonna mean expenses and losing all those materials and upgrades and all that stuff. So we definitely want to build up a little more money uh, before I start doing that. Uh, but I'm sure you guys heard, 
that timer going off? I don't know. Maybe it didn't. doesn't matter. Timer went off. Um, and that means we have reached the end of yet another episode. I hope you guys are still having a good time watching this because I am definitely having fun playing it. I forgot how much fun this game is. Uh, thank you so much. Leave me some comments and suggestions. And if you guys have uh, some great ideas like you've had in the previous episodes, I would really love to hear them and try to implement them. I really appreciate you guys having those things to say. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.